third episode of our mini series comparing the SSL Fusion hardware versus the SSL plugins, each module versus each correspondent plugin. Are you guys liking the series? Let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know if you want me to compare some other piece of hardware. We have a few here <laughs> versus the plugins, okay? Comments down below. In this video, we compare the stereo image module versus the plugin. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Misfest TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugins, special discounts and offers, and of course the links to the SSL plugins that we're gonna be testing in the next few videos. And if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish on so many different genres, mastering courses, special videos, and a lot more. And if you learn something from the channel and the videos are helping you, please consider the new feature, the super thanks down here and support the channel. Let's get to the video. If you missed the first two episodes where we compared the Vintage Drive in the first and the Violet EQ in the second, I'll put the link here in the info box down below. All right, at a first glance, there is something different in the plugin that we don't have in the hardware, and is the shuffle. Basically, the shuffle is related to the space knob, okay? So the width is self-explanatory. Take the sides, open them up, or better, um, it raises the level of the side information, okay? In a linear way, 20 to 20K. While the space boosts the side information from a certain frequency and below. We can assume that the fixed frequency on the hardware is 280. So much for cutting the low end on the side. You remember that video? Well, that's exactly what the space knob, which by the way, sounds pretty amazing, does. It boosts actually the low end on the sides. Go figure, right? If you missed that video on cutting the low ends on the side, again, I will put the link here somewhere. But in the plugin, we can actually adjust this crossover point, which I want to say it's pretty amazing. I would get the plugin regardless, just for this function, to be honest, regardless how this test is going to go and how close it's to the hardware. But again, keep, keep this in mind. While we've seen a massive difference in the vintage drive, we've seen basically almost no difference in the Violet EQ, the stereo image module is not exactly like a complicated processing, okay? Uh, like for example, a distressor is, or a saturator is, or I don't know, the HG2. So this is to say, I'm expecting these two to be fairly consistent, all right? But without further ado, let's, let's try. I will leave for the comparison, of course, the shuffle as zero, and then we'll do some tests just on the plugin to see how useful that is. But I already know that is useful because sometimes I do like what the space does, but the corner frequency is a little higher. So it gets a little boomy, right? And uh, I wish I had a shuffle control on it to just lower the um, the corner frequency. I don't use the stereo image that much. If I want to manipulate the stereo image like at a higher, much higher level, I have that machine, so I'm not just that concerned. Enough blabbering, let's play music. Sunshine on this side of Used to be homie, some chase up hard working, not a say look, just caked up. I made up my mind, I gotta get the bag. Shorty, I am not the one, so don't you get attached. And where I am from, it's like we never had. So if I got a split, then I get the better half. And I just paint the picture, and I ain't never rap. Got my mind on my money, money on my mind, and these streets kind of funny. So I hang on to that line, and my wrist looking lovely, but girl, you can't get my time because time equal money is too easy to decide. I'm hungrier than ever, you can see it in my eyes. I'm hotter than the sunshine on this side. I'm not gonna say anything yet. I, at this point, I want you guys to tell me what you think in the comments down below. I wanna play another song before saying anything else. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load, it's 
floor. For the top of your dome, like artichokes. These artists choke. Can't stand this kind of smoke. Adios. Que pasa, nasa, vamonos. Ya toca la I know ya grinded dominoes. Ya need to stop it and go stock it or go mop the flow. <laughs> Rapido. I'm a capo. Do tu ti capi. You are not. Hey, yo, face. Let's put the heat on. These weak miles with them cheap rhymes. Beat on these peons. Till I see him holding up peace signs. Y'all better be wise and behave. Cause these guys will be keeping stinging your retards like fucking with a beehive. You never be able to see ah. How can y'all deny? Shit, I was rhyming the beats when y'all were like knee high. Brody called me and he like, you got an hour of free time? I'm like, find me a beat and I'll probably body it each line. Catch karate flows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load. It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes. These artists choke. Can't stand this kind of smoke. Adios. Que pasa, nasa, vamonos. Ya toca la I know ya grinded dominoes. Ya need to stop it and go stock it or go mop the flow. <laughs> Rapido. I'm a capo. Do tu ti capi. You are now. It's funny because it's very different in the in the two songs. First of all, they're close. I mean, at the end of the day, the weed control, it should be simply just turning up the volume on the sides. Uh, the difference, I think, is negligible. What I hear is the hardware, again, kind of keeps the center a little more focused. And we've seen that in, in the first song, when I turn the width all the way up, the hardware keeps the center a little more in focus, while the plug-in, it kind of smears it a little bit, especially, again, the kick and the punch. The interesting thing is that it, I feel like in the plug-in, the top end, when you really push it, it kind of changes the balance and it becomes a little brighter than with the hardware. The hardware keeps the balance, the tone, the way it is. Again, these are small differences. We are not, again, talking uh, the big difference that we had with the um, vintage drive, but it's still there. Let's change song and let's try the space. Okay, here the difference is already, already a lot more. You can hear the mid-channel, the elements, I should say, that are present in the mid-channel. So the, the kick drum, the snare two, and the bass, the space on the plug-in, it kind of feels a little fake. While this one, is, it retains the punch and it just opens up. Keep in mind that these settings would be way too much on any mix. Like if I use the space, I almost never go uh, past the first notch, which would be two. We are like at eight right now. Okay, so this is just to exaggerate and, and feel the plugin versus, versus the hardware. Let's go just crazy all the way up. Yeah, I also feel the plug-in, it's wider, but it's wider because it, it approaches kind of out, like that out of phase feeling, you know? Let's try again. Okay, so no, it's not a mistake. I was actually, the different settings, I was actually trying to see if maybe the plugin had a, a wider range. So if, what if I can match it? Like when I'm all the way up to the space on the hardware, what if I back the plugin a little bit? And it, it it's definitely not. You can hear it's very, very different. The stereo image at that point is very different. So that means that the, the controls are actually matched fairly well, but it's just the plugin, it just doesn't retain the center as well. I wonder how the mono compatibility is. One last song for this, and then we'll try both together. Try to look around yourself. Everything just looks so bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is very apparent. The plug-in seems way more exaggerated in the stereo imaging and, and the width. But it's not a good thing in this case because it kind of becomes hollow in the middle. Let's try both. Let's do width at three and the space at three, two. All right, so let's do this. This changes <laughs> quite a bit. I much prefer the hardware on this. We both engaged, now things change because the hardware, you can tell the placement, it's still where it's to be. Why with the plug-in, I feel everything becomes kind of flat, just wider, but it, it's flat. It's, it's all on the same line. While the hardware is still maintains the 3D effect and the placement front back. I want to go a little higher here. Funny, this is closer. So as you go wider, and probably because just a matter of levels, the difference is not as much, but on a real life use, so the settings that we had before, that difference is pretty obvious. Yeah, the plugin, especially when, when we're talking about uh, high density material, but also in the verses, you could tell it, it's kind of a fake widening. While with the hardware, I, f I feel just that's how the mix sounds balance is there. The placements front and back is still there, just wider. And again, I'm using like pretty extreme settings, but uh, I'll take the hardware any day. I just want to go and try uh, the shuffle just to see how it works. Yo, yo, them are some big pretenders, I mean, take with myself from them, take with myself from them. Arteria agenda, I mean, take with myself from them, take with myself from them. Bad vibes in the me, take with myself from them, take with myself from them. Man, I go like we no member, but them devious ways that me defeat on them. Well, me no care if a friend or so called brothers me find out, say them know how we climb up the ladder. With them again, me go yeah, really cool function to have. I wish the, the hardware had this. Uh, there's not really any point in going like below 100 <laughs> with the shuffle, but uh, it actually kind of sounds weird there because the filters are way too close to the um, to that really sub range low uh, deep low range which kind of smears the transient a little bit but to have the possibility for example to go from 160 to 280 i wouldn't go higher than this you know because it, it kind of sound weird when you go like higher i think this is a good plugin again the stereo imaging the way it's set up on this machine is not like a complicated processing the space it's a little bit different you know there's at that point that we we start talking about the filters the crossover filters that's why i feel there's the more different there and when they are both engaged how the two interact on the hardware it's that's when you hear the difference between uh, the hardware they're plugging in more but still I wouldn't call it night and day like for the vintage drive uh, I think this is a cool plugin to have regardless of test I hope you guys like this video and if you liked it please don't forget to leave a like also let me know when we are done with the single module if you want me to do a test with 
all the modules on the Fusion hardware on and all the plugins one after the other and compare the whole package. If you're learning from the channel, if the videos are helping you, please consider using the super thanks, the new functions down here. Support the channel, allow me to do more video for you guys. And if you really want to step up your game, click the join button, become a member, access all the premium mix and mastering courses. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up.